One farmer says, seems to me there was a tea party in Boston that was illegal too. I have directed Secretary Connolly to suspend temporarily the convertibility of the dollar into gold. We shall seek to establish and maintain a dollar which will not change its purchasing and debt-paying power during the succeeding generation. As anguished shrieks rose up from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Government credit and government currency are really one and the same thing. A reserve of gold and a small reserve of silver. Why do central banks hold it? Well, it's, it's a form of reserves. So why don't they hold diamonds? Well, it's tradition, long-term <laughs> tradition. You know, some people still think it's money. Hey, we called it. Welcome back to the Junius Maltby channel. Thanks for being here. This is a triple-digit move for gold today. We've been talking about this happening. We knew it would occur at some point, and, well, today was that day. And you can see it right there. The day's low was 1560, day's high 1603. Gold just breached 1600 mark. So it's actually a pretty strong triple-digit day. Moving up in total, uh, what is that? Nearly $140, 140 US dollars on the day. Look at that chart. That's a one-day chart, okay? You can see that is the one day, and right around 8 o'clock in the evening, boom, gold popped pretty hard. And it's been rising ever since then, breaching the 1600 mark. So here we have it, a triple digit day for gold. Let's check in real quick, uh, see what silver did. Very similar chart. We have a pretty good story lined up for you today. This is going to be a fast video. So for those of you that are trying to tune in to the most boring channel on YouTube to catch some shut eye, you might want to slow it down because we're not going to be here for long. So take a look over here at silver and we're going to get into the story because there's a couple of reasons why gold is popping this hot hopefully some of you were able to snag silver down at that 1166 1169 range sub 12 dollars and then if you even bought in the 12 or the 13 dollar range you likely did okay because i think that was the bottom talking to some other friends who are familiar with these events and paying even closer attention than i am they're convinced we saw the bottom on silver take place and hopefully that's the case you know, some people thought, even myself, that 10 or even $9 might be a possibility. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. It bounced off of that range pretty quickly. You can see that low back in the sub-12 area. And again, this is uh, the day low was 1327 today. The day is high, 1416. So almost a full dollar today on silver. It's sitting up at 1407 right now. And this is in the futures market. So this is tomorrow. We're looking at the future. But it's trading right now currently these are live prices coming at you so there's the silver comex for may delivery and we're at 1407 currently up 81 cents up six percent but again look at that chart just it really popped around eight o'clock and uh, you know i'm curious what news took place i know a lot of this is tying into the fed again there's a massive amount of global stimulus coming down the pipeline here ladies and gentlemen Every central bank that has a printing press or a keyboard is creating out of thin air fiat currencies that are going to chase these commodities like a greyhound does a fake rabbit on a racetrack. They're going to run after this stuff and try to snag gold and the silver, but like the little rabbit on the racetrack, it's going to outrun them. That's what metals do. The fiats can never catch them. Fed move awakens gold just as supply of the metal hits a snag. What is that snag? We're going to find out. Gold prices soar after very aggressive Fed stimulus expansion all over the news today. And you can't make this stuff up. Three Swiss gold refineries suspend production due to virus threat. Part of me wants to guess that it was uh, also the supply disruption taking place. You know, these guys aren't getting the ore and the gold they used to get shipped. Remember, there's a supply shock rippling around the globe right now. Mines are being shut down. Workers aren't even showing up. There was some slowdown in production just with price collapse that on the silver side. That was very specific. And we're seeing just overall transportation disruptions and a lot of supply shock around the world. Aside from that, you've got guys getting sick or the quarantine orders shutting down non-essential work in various countries. So three of the major Swiss gold refineries are suspending production. Gold bars are going to be in short supply due to this disruption. Now, for some of you, you're thinking, well, I don't buy gold bars. I, I'm not really in the market for a 430-ounce London good delivery bar. That doesn't matter. 
those bars are destined oftentimes for mints. So when the mint like the Perth, the Royal Mint, the Canadian Mint, or the U.S. Mint need to get gold to make blankets and uh, have gold coins made, well, they come out of bars oftentimes. So if the bars aren't showing up, the blankets can't get made and the coins can't get struck. We're going to see a lag time now with bullion coin production. And I know many of you are firmly aware that there already exists a major shortage in bullion coins. They've been ordered. Uh, the mints are out of stock. Some of them aren't even minting. Some of the mints are shut down themselves because of all of this events taking place. So now you're going to see a shortage in metal arriving at mints whenever things do turn back on. And we're going to see a major lag time in metals arriving and coin being produced. This coinciding with massive stimulus and Fed activity, which is going to create a run for precious metals, will, in my opinion, only create a very, very strong bull market for metals. I mean, you couldn't really ask for a better combination of events to take place to really push metals in that bullish di uh, direction that we've all expected. We were just informed by one of the four Swiss refiners that they were stopping production and would not be able to supply any more bars until further notice. This is a, from Simon Mikhailovich. As they say, you can't buy insurance on a burning house. Just heard the same from another major Swiss refinery. They are also closing the plant due to the virus. A little more in depth here. Three Swiss gold refineries suspend production due to the virus threat. This is one of the articles pulled out from the Reuters. London, March 23rd. Three of the world's largest gold refineries said on Monday they had suspended production in Switzerland for at least a week after local authorities ordered the closure of non-essential industry to curtail the spread of the coronavirus. The refineries, Valcambi, Argor Heraus, and Pamp, are in the Swiss canton of Ticino, bordering Italy. I never pronounce those bars right, but every single one of those three companies should be quite familiar to any of us who have perused gold bars in the past. Those are the three big names. Where the virus has killed more than 5,000 people in Europe's worst outbreak, Switzerland is a global hub for precious metals refining. The three refineries between them process around 1,500 tons of gold a year in Ticino, or Ticino, however you pronounce that, a third of total global annual supply, as well as other precious metals such as silver. So again, we're going to see not only gold constricted here because of this, but also silver bars being refined, halting in production. And to top it all off, we've got backwardation. Now, I only first heard about the term backwardation and became familiar with it because of the writings of Professor Antal Fiket, a Hungarian economist, very strong advocate for gold and the gold standard. And he wrote about this a few years ago, and there's a paper on it, because gold backwardation took place following the Great Recession back in 07, 08. There was a period where backwardation was discussed and was taking place. So gold futures were briefly in backwardation on March 16th. Now, backwardation in gold is extremely rare because gold is not consumed, and therefore, there cannot be a gold shortage that would warrant backwardation. Gold backwardation means not that market makers want gold now, but would rather that they want to get out of dollars as fast as possible. The deeper into negative interest rates the dollar goes, the more likely that gold backwardation could become permanent, killing the dollar as money. Quick reminder, backwardation is when the current price, spot price of an underlying asset is higher than prices trading in the futures market. Backwardation is sometimes confused with an inverted futures curve. In essence, a futures market expects higher prices at longer maturities and lower prices as you move closer to the present day when you converge at the present spot price. The opposite of backwardation is contango, where the futures contract price is higher than the expected price at some future expiration. Backwardation can occur as a result, this is important here, of a higher demand for an asset currently than the contracts maturing in the future through the futures market. 
Now, what causes backwardation? Again, it can occur as a result of higher demand for an asset currently than the contracts maturing in the coming months through the futures market. Traders use backwardation to make a profit by selling short at the current price and buy at the lower futures price. So in summary, we see gold making triple digit moves. That happened today. Breaching 1600. We see backwardation taking place. We see a shortage and a contraction in supply and a major supply shock disruption in gold refining, gold production, as well with silver. Both metals performing very well. All of this on the backdrop of a global catastrophe that is resulting in major economic turmoil and disruption globally. And of course, we see the central banks, the Fed, and all of their gang member friends at the EU creating money out of thin air and doing what they do best, the fiat game, fiat empire. So what we're going to see here is the world awash with zero interest, low interest, negative interest, toxic asset relief programs, stimulus, bailouts, helicopter money mailed to everybody in the United States, money created out of thin air. And all of this is going to do is, again, drive the price of these metals up. I think we saw the bottom. If you didn't jump on it, well, hesitation kills. So there you have it. Uh, I don't know what's going on as far as the silver supply and the gold supply at some of the sites that we all commonly uh, attend. Provident Metals, JM Bullion, SD Bullion. And then, of course, there was Scottsdale Mint. Uh, we were looking at them the other day. They did seem to have quite a nice amount of silver bars still in stock last I checked. I know some of them had sold out. But a lot of these guys are running into supply shortages and uh, orders I know are being delayed. A lot of web traffic with people rushing to get precious metals. Looks like the demand is there. And of course, we're seeing similar things take place uh, on Wall Street itself. Hence the triple digit moves in gold today. So buckle up, $2,000 gold should be right around the corner. A couple of weeks, a month, I don't know, two months. But it's coming. We're going to be there before we know it. Hopefully pull silver up with it. But uh, interesting times, to say the least, for those of you in the stacking community. Keep paying attention. Thanks for tuning in here to the Junior Small Beat channel. Have a good night.